uh, I received a great question today uh, about how to enable remember me in access database uh, this access database uh, is already set up to remember the user so if we open if try to log in with Ahmed the database will welcome Ahmed and if we close the database and we open it again it will automatically go to Ahmed if Ahmed log out so the next time it will ask him about his credential so let's start from scratch uh, this is the same database but without the functionality uh, actually we have to go into three major procedures the first one is to create a table this table will carry uh, the auto login information so we are going to create table design let's say this is the remember id just a number and remember is uh, yes or no field so the user can check remember me and who is the user i want to remember and the user id is number because the user id in the user table is number this one can be a primary key and let let's save this table as aria so now we have one table to carry the auto login information in the login screen i'm going to add from the design uh, checkbox this uh, checkbox I'm, I'm going to rename uh, as auto login so the user can select this box to save his information in the database let's have this form with menu so we can right click and close so now we have a checkbox the user can check so the first piece of code will be run with the login button if the user select the auto login so i'm going to the login code if the username and password is correct before opening this form I need to check if auto login maybe I name it auto login like this uh, is selected is true so so if the user select this checkbox we are going to run this code so this checkbox I type the name auto login without the in anyway I need to update the table with two information the remember table I want to update with this field to be checked and the user ID to be the user who is trying to log in this record I have to give it a number let's say one because every time I'm going to update this record so if the user username and password is correct and he choose to auto login i'm going to run a sql command so i'm going to create a variable to run the sql command this variable is a text variable a string this variable is an update statement which will go to the rem table and set the rim field to be true and the user id to be equal to my id the user who is trying to log then we have to close the sql statement When the user click on login, we have to run this SQL. Okay, let's try. So right now, we don't have any information here. We don't have a user ID 
and this field is not enabled. If I try to log in with any user, Ahmed is user number one by the by the way. I'm going to update one row. And if I go to the table now, one user is select to remember me and this user is one. Okay, I don't want this warning message, so I'm going to before running the SQL command, I have to set warning to false to do command dot set warning. Set warning false. And after we run the command, we have to remember to enable uh, the warning one more time. So let's enable it for true. Okay, let's try another user. Hani. So if Hani is uh, select member me, we don't get any message. But if I go to the table, I find that the user is now number two because Hani is user number two. So now we finish the first part. We have a location, we have a table, and this table carries information about the user he wanted to auto -log. So the second step, when opening this form, so this form, event, unopen. I need to check if any user has enabled the uh, auto login. So I'm going to dim a variable as integer to check if is anyone enabled uh, the auto login. This variable will try to count how many user ID in the table rem set the auto to uh, true. Uh, is it auto? No, it is rem. So set rem. So uh, list message box X just to make sure it is correct. So right now we have one user. So if I open this one, I got one. If I close, if I remove this one, I'm supposed to have zero. Yeah. So now this code is correct. I don't need this message anymore. So if there is a user who enabled the auto login, in this case, X will be one. So if X is equal one, please go to form. Uh, the form I need to open, which is HR, so do command do cmd dot open for uh, HR and close this form. Do command dot close ac form. The form name is uh, login. So now if I try to open login it will go direct to the uh, hr form because there is a user with a remember me option oh, we forget end if, as usual and okay so we, we still have two steps to do the, the first one is to build the user id Who's the user? So if I close, if I try to close this database, let's go file option and let's set, uh, set the database to start with the login screen. If I open this database, it will go direct to the HR form, but I don't know who is the log user, who, who is login. Uh, so let's close this one. Um, so this form, on open if there's a user he was auto login I need to know who is him so I'm going to create another variable let's say uh, who also as enter because the user uh, ID is a number uh, this variable is equal to the exact same statement here 
but instead of d count it will be d lookup so i know who is the logged user uh, so now i have some information But of course, I need to do these steps before opening the HR form. So, if there is a user who wanted to auto login, X is one. In this case, I need to know who is the user. Now I can go to the HR form, add a combo box. This combo box will get all users. Let's say uh, you will name this one who is logging or who 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 is there. Okay. This one, of course, is not enabled, so he cannot change it later. So before opening the form or after opening the form, I have to go to uh, the form. Forms HR who is there equal my variable which is who Henny. Okay, I need to log out so I need to the database to forget me. So I'm going to add one button. This button is to log out. And let's have welcome here. This button will clear the remember from the remember label. So this button, event, on click, good. Uh, this button, if I go to uh, login, if I got the command, uh, from the SQL, this command, Control C, Control V, but instead of setting the REM as true, it will be false. So now, if I open login, it will go back to the HR, but if I click here, I don't need this one anymore. I just need the rim to be false. Okay, so now if I open the login to ask me about the credential, but this button is supposed to close this form also. So this button after clear the uh, auto login is supposed to open the login form uh, and close uh, the HR form okay